what's going on guys welcome back to another video today you are watching gaming warehouse where every game you need is in stock today we will be doing or slash building a mexican restaurant this will be a tutorial and i um and i'm just going to show you guys how to make it i did do this in the let's build blocks mania i mean not blocks mania square mania Square Mania is a um, city with me, Matthew, Piano, and a couple other people. I'll leave um, some of their channel descriptions or channel um, the, the links to the channels in the uh, in the description. Speaking of subscription, make sure you guys do subscribe because it is free and you can always change your mind later. We also have hit 50 subscribers, which means I will do a 50 subscriber special. What will the 50 subscriber special be? Good question. I actually don't know at all. But um, that's why I want you guys to give me suggestions, please, in the comment section below. Um, so if you guys do, please do that. But let's get started with the video. The blocks you are going to be needing today are the acacia door, the stripped acacia wood, smooth sandstone, the brick block, black stained glass, red wool, orange wool, green wool, light blue wool, lime green wool, polished granite, and polished granite slabs. If I did forget something, then I am sorry. But right now, we are just going to um, do... Yeah, right now, we're just going to do the ins uh, the outside. If you guys do want an inside, get this video to three likes, and I will do an inside. It won't take as long as the supermarket, I promise. The supermarket... It was a horrible. It was like my second tutorial ever. Um, I'm sorry about that, but I do still think it came out pretty nice. Um, just a nice custom supermarket that is simple and you guys can all enjoy. I don't know if you guys want a tutorial on this, but I did do a tutorial. I mean, I do plan if you guys want to. Like, I have it here just in case I need to, but I don't plan on doing it. I honestly don't think it looks the best, but I will not be adding this door right here because that took a while and i was bored but all these banners and stuff i also won't do unless you guys really 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 want me to i will do that but here's the inside of this right here so nothing much i'm getting distracted i probably shouldn't uh i probably shouldn't be doing this right now let's get on with the video so this the, the space you're going to need is a 35 by 25 block area ignore that too um i know it looks horrible but it doesn't matter so we're going to start on the corner of your grid this does not include the parking lot if you want a parking lot um i do suggest like taking that the dimensions of um this right here this parking lot which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So 16 by 49. And, um... That's what parking lot I would use for this. You can always improvise and change it up if you guys want to. But um, the first thing you guys are want, going to want to do is go to the corner of your grid, place two blocks like this, two smooth, two, two smooth stone blocks like that, two, three black stained glass panes, two smooth stone, three glass panes, I mean three black stained glass, you could use glass panes, it would actually give it more depth, but I just use uh, glass blocks for this because I just thought it would look better, and it was, um, like, it was, just, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but um, so far, we should have something like this, so it goes two smooth sandstone, three black stained glass blocks, two smooth sandstone, three black stained glass blocks, two smooth sandstone, and now we have three more black stained glass blocks with one at the end now you should have something like this now what we want to do is extend this up by let me see okay so you want to copy this 
two more times. So it would be two smooth sandstone, three black stained glass blocks, two smooth sandstone. And if I sound sick, I am sorry. I am a little sick, but um, continuing with the video, I think you guys get the point though. We're just gonna um place this for another two blocks like this. And it should look a something a little bit like this. Now what you want to do is over this, add two smooth sandstone blocks, two smooth like layers uh, over top, and it should give you something that looks like this. And one thing I forgot to mention about the grid is that you will have a little section poking out. Um, it's only four blocks, but blocks nonetheless. nonetheless. So now you want to do is take your brick blocks, place four up like this, then leave a gap of two, add four up like this, and just simply connect it at the top. We can now add our acacia door to the left or the right. I choose to add it to the left, and you can add black stained glass all the way around. And it should give you something a little bit like this. Now what you want to do is take this smooth sandstone and kind of wrap it around the brick blocks like this. And while this won't matter because we'll have stripped acacia wood, it just, on top of there, it just um, makes it a little bit easier for the tutorial and it makes the inside look a lot better. Now after that, we want to copy this again. So what we're going to do is place three black stained glass blocks, two smooth sandstone, three black stained glass blocks, two smooth sandstone, three black stained glass blocks, and two smooth sandstone, like this. Now, what we want to do is extend this up again by two more layers. And I'm sorry if I counted the grid wrong, so it might be a 35 by 26 which is one block, so I don't know if it's that big of a deal, but it is. if it is, I am sorry. But um, now we just extend this, but actually 36 by 25. I keep messing up. This is my third tutorial, guys. Don't get mad at me, but um, yeah. So it's a 36 by 25. I'm sorry about that. Um, but here we go. And now what you want, what you, what you want to do after you're completed with this, is add two layers of smooth sandstone blocks over it again and it should give you something that looks a little bit like this and before we get to the hard stuff you can go to the right side and once you have this you add another smooth sandstone block three window three black stained glass panes or it doesn't have to be panes blocks two smooth sandstone and three black stained glass pane i keep saying pane blocks and after that, you can just place two, but in reality, it will go all the way around like this. So now what you want to do is copy this once more, two times. And it should look something like this. And after you're done with that, add your two layers of smooth sandstone blocks over it again. And the final product for the side should look like this. Now what you want to do is pretty much copy and paste this thing on the other side. So you would add one smooth sandstone block. Then two black stained glass blocks. I mean three. And then two smooth stone blocks. I'm sorry. Three glass stained blocks. And um, then add and copy this for another two rows like this just like that and now you're going to add your two layers of smooth sandstone on top like this i hope this tutorial is easy to follow i'm sorry if it isn't um like i said it is my third tutorial but I still should have, you know, I guess practiced a little bit. And I kind of did, but not like that. But now you want to do is come back 
to the back of your build and what we're going to do is just fill this smooth sandstone up all the way across your grid like so and you're just going to make it as tall as the other walls which should be one two three four five blocks tall now what you're going to see is that in some areas it's actually six blocks tall and that's going to happen when you have the arches to the roof which is going to be over here i'll pull the picture up again for you guys okay now what you guys want to do is take this stripped acacia wood and place it on top of your um bricks four blocks tall like this and make sure they're all facing up you don't want them facing uh to the side because you will be able to see that unless you make it all face to the side which i don't think you want to do all that but if you do you do now what you want to do is come behind it and place three blocks like this on either side and now it should look something a little bit like this now what we want to do is grab our wool and over the windows simply just place an archway like this and if you don't know how this is made you pretty much just add um like i don't know how to explain it depending on how big your window is you add one block up top like this and two to the side like that so i actually place the wool in the order that they're supposed to go which means that there will be it will be red, orange, green, and uh, light blue, and light green. And if you didn't, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that. That's just what I chose to do. But um, you, got, you guys can always switch it up. Um, even if this isn't a Mexican restaurant, you can like add anything else. Like I don't know anything. It could be the colors of your restaurant. It could be your two favorite colors. I don't care. Um, uh, if you guys do like this video uh keep telling me that i should make more because i don't know if i should make more of these or not and if you guys like it or not okay guys so i see what i did wrong and what i need to do is uh make a new roof because i ended up making them uneven somehow but i did do that so what we're going to want to do is after you extended your wall up you want to go to your right corner place one block extend it out by one like this and then counting these two blocks count six so one two three four five six go half slab up like this go seven one two three four five six seven three four five six seven like that and now you want to just extend this all the way to the left like this and that should give you something that looks like this. And now what you want to do is do the same exact thing on your other side. So go to the left, place two blocks, extend one out like this. Count four more to uh, equal six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go a half slab up. Go seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And extend it down like so. Now this is our new roof. Roof. If you do want to um, make it like taller, like um, this. Let's see if I can do this. Like this. You can do that. Um, it won't. It won't look bad like this. You can actually. I might actually change it like that. Um. So it won't look bad at all. So you can always do this, and um, I do like adding arches to roofs. Adding edges, arches makes them look uh, better, and they just look more detailed and realistic. So now that we're done with that, you want to fill in your your gaps with smooth sandstone, like this. And one material that I forgot to have was your stone slabs. Take these and put them across the top like this and it kind of just like breaks it up a little bit from the top and the bottom and now you want to go back to the top of the acacia wood and do the same thing just like this 
and this is kind of like your uh, sign where you put a sign so you can be like Bob's or Joe's or something like that. I don't know. Um, now what we're going to want to do is extend this. Like, so make this a box real quick. Just simply make this a box like this and bring this bring a like a ring make a ring around the box and just pretty much keep filling it in until you can't anymore which would just be simple like this and as you can see that looks pretty good that looks pretty good already and we're actually pretty much almost done which is pretty amazing for us to be done that quick but now what we want to do is extend this last slab so go to your left the left side of your building and extend this slab all the way around your building like so um until you reach this the same part on over here add that same miniature roof thing add you're going to want to add your blocks like this and that right here um let's see I actually probably did something wrong oh yeah I did do something wrong like this okay and the reason we did that is so you can have it lined up like this eventually but just like this and then do the same thing for the next side and once you read this one reach this one do that at the same two blocks right here like that and like that and then just continue continue um extending this all the way around oh I accidentally made it too high yep I forgot to go down one after uh, you reach the second block but um, it should all connect. Dang, Minecraft. I hate how they play slabs. But, um, just like this. And now what you guys want to do is, you're almost done. Just place another layer all the way around to where it covers the sandstone. Like this. And you only have to do it around the parts that the sandstone isn't covering. And you would just simply go like this all the way around so I'll get done I'll do a time lapse real quick so I'll tell you guys when I'm done okay just like this and now what you guys want to do is take your granite blocks and where you see these blocks over here just extend them just like this and you won't be able to see the inside because I actually cut off the inside ceiling. If you want to keep it in the inside, you can always do that. But I chose not to. But we just are going to line these up like this. And this will fill in a great portion of your roof to where you don't have to do slabs all the time. So it should look like, oh, hold up, this. Uh oh, I must not have lined these up per, uh, correctly. Simple fix. You guys definitely probably did, because I'm just stupid sometimes. So it's going to go like this. And we're going to keep that. This right here. And like so. Easy fix. So nothing much that nothing that we can't fix but once you're done doing that I'll be right back okay now that you're done with that is you can actually use these blocks as a placeholder for your slabs and just connect the roofs or the roof um, like this and the good thing about this roof if you want it to keep it like this keep it open on the inside is that it'll allow light to come through a little bit because you're using slabs especially at the top portions like this this um sorry i'm speaking weird once again i'm sick 
and that's the uh that's the reason I sound different probably. But um we're almost done with our Mexican restaurant and actually it wasn't that bad. It was actually pretty quick. I did this in uh just a little bit of time. But um, once I'm done filling in this roof, I will give you guys an overview and I'll show you guys uh the finished product. Okay, we are done with our Mexican restaurant. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did hear noise in the background, I am babysitting and I have guests over. So, I am sorry for that. But, um, it looks pretty good, I would say. Um, you can have a drive through if you want to. In the back like this, using glass panes. Let me go get those real quick. Like this. And, uh, you can have one. It doesn't matter where they are because this whole entire back is going to be the kitchen. But just like that, you can have a drive through over there. If you guys want this to be a fast food restaurant. But if you guys, once again, do want an interior, make sure we get three likes on this video. And, uh, make sure you guys also subscribe. That will, uh, or, or you can just tell me in the comment section below. That too, that also works. Even if only one person wants me to do the inside, I'll still do the inside. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.